Um, Iran first developed a constitution more than 100 years ago. There are countries in the Middle East that even to this day do not have a constitution. Iran has been having political parties and elections and parliaments ever since then. The elections haven't always been fair and free. The constitution hasn't always been followed, unlike here. Uh, but politics is something that Iranians very much understand. In the period uh, after the Second World War, when the old dictator Reza Shah was gone, democracy suddenly exploded. The promise of the 1906 constitutional revolution was fulfilled. Iran became a democracy. They had free elections in the late 40s and early 50s and produced a leader who embodied what Iranians wanted. That was Prime Minister Mohammad Mossadegh. So his program essentially had two pieces. Uh, one was democracy, the other was nationalism. Democracy meant the elected leaders, the parliament and the prime minister should rule, not the Shah. And nationalism meant Iran should be able to control its own resources, which in the case of Iran means oil. So with the unanimous vote of the Iranian parliament, uh, Mossadegh led the drive and nationalized Iran's oil industry. That set the outside world into a panic. Uh, the oil had been completely owned by a British company that was in turn mainly owned by the British government. The US government was also intimately involved, as were large American corporations. The idea of a Middle Eastern country nationalizing its resources and keeping the profits for itself rather than sending them to another country was something the outside world felt completely intolerable. And in the summer of 1953, the United States sent a CIA team to Iran. The mission was destroy this incipient democracy and replace it with a dictatorial regime that will give us the oil we want. 